And she has such an extraordinary control of that shuttle. Current rank number one, age 31. Well, we don't say that too many times, but it's a winner of the Malaysian Open recently. She's also got many, many other strings to her bow. She won in Chinese Taipei. She was the runner-up the All England. She was a winner of the German Open this year. Last year, the World Championship runner-up. China Open winner, China Masters winner. She is the real deal. Wang Mu Chu. We, she knows she's going to be up against it. She's a world ranked 18. She's the ninth seed in the, this particular competition. And the umpire, well, there's the controversial Irishman, Carmack Breslin. He called a lot of faults there on the service last game. Evo Cassell's got that duty this time with the service judge as the service judge. So Cormac, I'm sure he was absolutely right. But there was some confusion about where... Uh, that's the, uh, the Malaysian bench and Lee Mao is the coach and uh, there's some confusion about where the waste actually started which is quite interesting i'm sure the charming charmaine will be able to tell us a little bit more about that well he did serve, uh, called a lot of service faults in the women's doubles uh in the women's singles <laughs> you won't be seeing too many service faults so i'm sure you won't i think he called a few too many possibly is that a criticism, Charmaine? <laughs> you, you look too well, much too good to be criticizing. Okay, he's called them now to, to start the game, and I think it's going to be Chang who will be underway. They're just testing again. They're testing the, the speed, not just the speed of the shuttle, but also the drift. And I've just been talking to Tracy Hallam, and do you know what she was saying? That every court has a different drift. Isn't that interesting? She said that even during the different times of the day, it has a different drift. What's all that about? Well, in a big hall like this, you can actually have a circular motion as well. So on maybe court one, it might be going to the right. When on court four, it could be going to, to the left. It depends on the... Who'd be a badminton professional, huh? Goodness. All these things right outside of your control. But well, here, here they're going to be tipping the shuttle. Oh, right. they, they agreed that both of them agreed that it's a bit quick, so they're tipping it outwards a little bit to slow down the shuttle. Now they've obviously tried to be sisters. They've got right knee bandages, both of them. So uh, a little bit of stretching will be required, I'm sure. Just a little protection there on both the right knees. It is terribly hard on the knees. I mean, that, that stretching down to the, particularly down to the corners at the net. And on my left, Zhang Ming, China. Right, this is our final presentation. Final presentation of the day. The tenth match we've covered for you from Madrid. But it's going to be a cracker. It's Zhang Ning against Wong Mu Chu. Malaysia versus China. China with the serve. Right in the corner. Number one seed, number one shot. Beautiful. First point on the board for Mewchu. Now, that is against all the odds, isn't it? We thought if it's going to be long, it will be from that end. And again, she looks at it, but this time she's right. <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> A little bit of thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, thumbs up to the line judge. Good on you. Uh, difficult. You can, how do you defend that? I mean, yeah, it could have gone cross-court could have been dropped she was in total control of that 4-2 she set it up by a good net and then just smashed it straight not a lot of long rallies yet I think they're both again trying to get used to the, the court and get warmed up a little bit but with this rally point I think a lot of the time you have to get going right away before you, you could start off slow but with with this rally point i think Five, you need to get going new chu she uh, she's playing the shuttle really long and misses out on two service opportunities finds the line this time 
three. Well, actually, she missed it. Sorry, six three. It's in. This is interesting because this is a tactic of Chang Ning. I'm absolutely certain she's just saying to Mu Chu, if you want to put it high, you've got to make sure you're absolutely accurate. Five. What I can't understand, Charmin, is how she can move so fast around the court and appear to glide over it. It's just extraordinary. Oh, her footwork is so oh. smooth. It's so nice to watch. I'm talking now about Chang Ning, of course, but um, I mean, Mu Chu has got some lovely movement as well. But what, just watch. When we get to our over, over shot again, this wide angle shot, her, her movement is extraordinary. She's got so much time. Occasionally she makes a mistake. But she set up the point, let's face it, I mean it she was... broke her strings on oh, that shot, yes. Uh -huh. But she did set it up nicely. Nice reach, but... If you have 12, if you have 12 rackets in your bag, has she got, what, 20? 25? 30? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Uh, 12 is, is quite a few, actually, is but I, I don't get mine There's stuck no here, legal so limit? There's no legal limit. Oh, okay. Probably most people, 8 to, eight to 12, maybe. <laughs> Nice friendly warm up again. Well, this is much closer than we thought. It's uh, six seven. Mewchu. She tries to kiss that shuttle. Really heavy little bit of spin as well. Almost a tennis shot. Heavy top spin. Yeah, well, Wang Mewchu is more of a rally, a stroke player. She's not very strong on a attack, so. A little bit like Susie Suzanti, the Indonesian player. She likes the long rallies. Quite smooth as well. It's that deadly accurate Double shot. Ball. That beautiful Eight. drop. I mean, that's just one of a whole range of shots that we're going to see from Chang as the match progresses. It's beautiful to see. 8-7. <laughs> yeah, it's inside out, but I mean, she's so quick and has so many options. Whether go going straight, and she her deception is very good. She has to wait a long time for that to come down, but she knew exactly 209 kilometers. I mean, we're not talking about excessive speed here, but brilliant pace placement, excellent timing. Again, she doesn't have to move. It's extraordinary how she anticipates. Ten, that was a seven. fabulous shot right into the corner, and she goes to 10-7. It's a bit of poetry in motion, isn't it? I really am so impressed. Out of court. So that goes to halfway point in this opening game, 11-7, the number one seed in the world, Chang Ning, and uh, I tell you, quality without, she's got a fabulous uh, athletic body, she's tall, she is just understands the game so well, anything that the opposition can throw up, she is equal to it. Now, you probably help me here. I don't know, uh, no, Li Mao. Oh, there's some smash winners and a Chang Ning, unsurprisingly, two, two left. And four stairs. Miu Chu has been, well, it's debatable whether they were unforced, but certainly she's lost them. Consecutive points, 4 2. 11 7 the score, first game. Oh, that was called in right on the line. I watched the gold medal uh, Olympic in 2004 with Jang Ning and uh, Mio Odina. What a fantastic match. Yeah. 30 years old, winning the gold medal. And she wants to do it again in Beijing in 2008. Well, you would, wouldn't you? Hometown comforts.
Actually, she, uh, she's from Hubei province, I think, isn't she? It's uh, Huang. Is it Hubei? I don't know. Well, you see, it means that Wang Mu Chu has got to try to get really, really fine with her shots. She can't afford to put them half court. She's got to get them right out wide, and they're too much. Oh, good star. Nice yeah, star. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we like that. She set it up very nicely from around the head. You can see her smashing cross court. Unexpected, I think. I think that's what she'll have to start to do. I know she's a rally player, but I think she needs to attack a little bit more and make Jung reach, keep on bending down a little bit. We saw there that for every shot she makes good, she also has to push it to the limit so that one went long it's 14-9 and again it's long she didn't even have to work 15, at that 15-9 nine. Nine. well they look a little bit sad about this one we is only what you could expect I suppose Li Mao that was on the right of screen as we saw it Chinese player and coach <laughs> it's too easy. 16-9. 9 How do you play it? Pushed her quick into oh, the forehand and she knew it was coming straight back at her. Great net kill. So hard. Chinese coach Tang Sui Hua. 17-9. The crowd is still here, fairly hushed, but uh, enjoying an exhibition of play by the number one seed. Uh, well, I should have kept my mouth shut, didn't you? My, that wasn't very clever. Gives the point away at 10-17. That was out. 11-17. Cheng Ning at 11.17 in the lead played in the earlier rounds. In fact, she's only played one round, and that was against um, Aying, Ching Ailing, Aying of Singapore. And that was a 21-8, 21-8 victory in 22 minutes. So she's not been tested. This is a big problem when you have a, a world number one that doesn't get a match. Well, she's so good, too. She can beat all the players pretty handily on on the day. A few can push her only. Yu Chu, on the other hand, has played a couple of matches 19. already. She lost, uh, sorry, she won to Francesca Ratnasari. We watched that one, didn't we? 21-19, 21-8. She also played against Chen Yu Chin, and that was 18-21, 22-20, 21-10. So she... She's had a few battles there, but I think this is going to be a step too far for a 19-11 at the moment. That's out of court. Yeah, she slaps her thigh there with frustration, but she doesn't make too many mistakes, that's for sure. I tell you what I am f really fascinated by, being at this level, we're right behind the coach, the Chinese coach, was so low down at the court side that we can see the movement her movement to her Cheng Ning's is absolutely amazing and there we have game point then this first game and we're at the round three stage and going into the quarterfinals ah she's going to finish it with a drop cut across the face of the shuttle it didn't happen still got the luxury of seven points for the game 13.20. That's the fourth time, and that is game point. And in fact, she's uh, taken the game 21.13. And I really, you know, it, it, it was a be, bit of a disappointment there in the end for Wang Wu Chu. She's fighting hard, but uh, it really is. It's so, so difficult. 
as they give the quarter mop down. Chang Ning at three love in the smashes, but our touches are equally as impressive. These are the touches, one love. She can't have made that many, can she? 13, 17 to Mu Chu, that's the important stat. And it's 4-2 on the trot. And we'll be starting the second game in a while, but um, as I was just making reference a, a while ago to the fact that she glides around that court, she's almost, it's almost like watching an ice skater, isn't it? It is, an ice skater, a ballerina. She, she moves so smoothly, so efficient too uh, in her movement, and, and she's so clever. So she's already moving there before they even hit, I think, <laughs> half the time. Yeah. It's beautiful. I mean, it really is it's so good to watch. She makes it look so easy, yeah. but it isn't out there, as we all know, but she makes it look easy. Well, she adjusts her hair. Is that very nice? Perfect for the cameras. Thank you, dear. Okay, yes. right, here we go. It's second it's game. game. It's Love Chang it. Ning of China, 31 years old, world rank, seeded one, world rank one. One game up, and that was out. Yeah. One love. love. Well, I don't think you get many bets on uh, this game lasting to go to three. <laughs> Two. Love. Two love. <laughs> This is education time for the Malaysians. They really have got to watch how this young lady approaches the game. Yeah, she does make some errors, and that's a first point for Malaysia. One, two. Oh, and a nice smash straight down the line. She reached from around the head, took it early. Need a few more of those. And smash straight. Back live. Oh, 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 oh. Now I thought that was out as well. My goodness. Oh, dear, oh dear. Well, if it was a tight Three. moment in the match, I would have been a bit disappointed with that. What says you? We'll have a look at it again, I'm sure, but I, I thought that was wide. Yeah, I'm not quite sure on the, on the single. Well, maybe we don't get a chance. No, we don't get a chance to look at it. Never mind. <laughs> oh, what a touch. Well, and two touches there. New Chu keeps it going, keeps this rally a Significant interest. <laughs> Just too good. Tell me about the result of it. She tried to smash <laughs> cross court one way, cross court the other, Three, but Sheng Ning all over it. It's hard to get her out of balance. Oh. She must be worshipped at home, I think. Oh, she She's is. So far Absolutely. ahead of the game like a movie star in China. She, I believe she's been at the center since she was 12 years old playing badminton. Got a bit ambitious there, but you could tell what she was doing. And I mean, yeah, nine times out of a 10, she would have made that shot. Four. Only three. just wide. Let's celebrate Mu Chu's interest in this game. She's four, three ahead. She just has Wang Mu Chu reaching all the time. Oh, bye bye. <laughs> You just kind of have to guess, guess which way and, and hope it hits your racket on a setup like that. That's only three-quarter court, and it's bound to be dead. 5-4, she takes the lead. And no doubt will continue in that position. Cancel. Five, four. Oh, that was 
well picked up by Mucho, straight into her face. She's still struggling though. Pressure, pressure. She's having to do all the moving. Six, five. For a lot of the badminton fans too, if you want to check out www.badmintonmanager.net, there's a game out there you can you can play. You can you have a budget of 175 thousand dollars and you pick your team and you can win a, some watches at the end of it all we'd better Six, better four. point out the fact that it's a fantasy game Charmaine it <laughs> this is not it for is. real <laughs> this is fantasy stuff yes it's for fun you, you pick the best team Solve us over. and uh, yeah, at Solve the end of it the, they do Six. have a few prizes to give away I haven't had a chance to explain too much about that, but we'll, we'll certainly do that during the uh, during the week as well. Got a few more days left. You can join in anytime. www.badmintonmanager.net. Have a look at it. Daniel Shirley won it last time uh, from um, New Zealand, I think he was. Oh no, that hasn't happened. That didn't happen. Oh, let's. Uh, oh please, please, let's have a look at that again. I have never. Ever. How old am I now? I'm 60. I've never seen that before. Watch this. Can't believe it. Now, watch the shot. Oh, bye-bye. Oh, oh, nice hey. shot. Wow. Sometimes it gets stuck up top there, actually. No. And just roll. Oh, my goodness. That is extraordinary. And a big smile. Wow, let's see. Good stuff. Seven, Seven eight. Oh, uh, you could have frozen it on top there. That would have made a great picture. <laughs> Front page of every badminton magazine. Uh, we could see what she was trying to do, but she's under huge pressure as Mewtwo. She's got to play big risk shots because all the ordinary stuff is just getting hammered. 9-7, second game. Oh, game. <laughs> what amazing net play. Her touch is so oh. nice. Oh. I mean, it, it didn't get above the net. <laughs> oh. We're 10-7, coming up to halfway in the second. Oh, and that's in, that is 11-7. So that really is, uh, again, a brave, brave effort by Wong Mu Chu. 215K there, but it was the placement that deceived. And uh, an excellent, continuing, excellent display by the Cheng Ning. And uh, there's the score. It's 11-7 in the second after taking the first 21-13. Now, this www.badmintonmanager.net, and there you go, free to play, buy and sell players. It is a fantasy game, I repeat, a fantasy game, budget of 175,000. Great prizes. Look at all that. It's, it's, I'm sure there's a lot of fun there. I think Nathan Robertson played it last time. Daniel yeah, Shirley so. played it. So the professionals are playing it as well as you at home. Just log on and find out what it's all about. IBF promoted. We're back in the game. It's 11-7. Oh. She looked up at the lights there. Eight. Get distracted a little bit. They are very bright when you look up. I well, actually they're fairly well placed too. Yeah, they are well placed. Every once in a while, it, it'll. Just for a few seconds, you'll, it'll be lost in the light, but all in all, they're pretty good lighting. Called wide. Nine, eleven. So, the Malaysian Liu Chu comes back to nine, eleven. This is a good rally. An exhausting rally, I would have thought. 
lots of action. <laughs> oh, good work. <laughs> yeah, three in a row for Mu Chu. 10 11. Ten. That was lovely, Good wasn't luck. it? Great rally, and Wong Chu Mu hit it high instead of smashing low, she hit it a uh, deep smash. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> what a great setup with her net. She can so set so it up. Even I could have played that one to the ground. 12 10. Chang Ning having conceded uh, three points in a row, four points in a row in fact, and then suddenly finds a lovely rally to set it up at 12-10. Her racket control at the net is amazing. Keeps real pressure on her opponent. There's only one winner. I mean, it's just, there's no, there's no way. I mean, gosh, how frustrating for Mew Chu. Everything she tries, it's responded to with interest. Only 197 there, but um, it was just, again, beautifully placed. How many times can I get down on my hands and knees? Well, she's puffing a little bit too, 13-10. It's been a good battle. Missed that net shot. 11, 13. Well, you don't see her miss too many of those. She looked to be totally in control. Oh. What a great setup. Yeah, it was. Smashing cross court, waiting for the short lift, and then. Do you know what? I think she was really upset at missing that net shot. She got really, you know, there was a bit of venom in that, wasn't there? Yeah, she can turn it on. Yeah. She had a reaching and smash. A lot of the time, if you go back to the same quarter, corner or the same spot, you're still kind of turning, turning away from the shot, and it's too slow to go back. Happened twice there, 15-11. Closing moments, then, of our time here. Just looking at my watch, I mean, I think that is six and a half, nearly, yeah, six and a half hours continuous coverage here from Madrid. Great badminton. There's been some super, super matches. And we're getting to the real, real interesting end now. Three more days to go. And at 16.11, Chang Ning has got to go through all the processes, of course, all the rounds in order to get to that final match on Sunday. Yes, but she is going for gold again. She won in 2003 in Birmingham, the World Championships, and then last time in Anaheim, she came away with the silver, so she said she wants another gold. Well, well we've seen quite a lot of players during the week, and I can't say I've seen too many that have been more impressive than Chang Ling on the female side, of course. Just a couple of moments of um, lacking concentration. 13-16 gives hope to the Malaysian bench. Continues with the high service. Oh, and that is in. That's a brilliant shot. The uh, shuttle lost a feather. She's placed it very neatly to the side. Gets the service back. Gets a new shuttlecock. And we see the replay there. It's so beautifully placed. Her around the head is so dangerous. Oh, yeah. she, she goes up to it and then just cuts it once in a while, or then all of a sudden the power's there and smashes it straight. 17-13, four points from match over. And it's 18-13, 18, 18, a big 13. mistake, Mewtwo. She got really excited about that. Oh, that's a brilliant get by Mucho. Uh, she has to just find the edges, and it's so hard. 13. So, just two points away from victory now. Chang Ning of China, 19-13. You were just pointing a little note to me about the, uh, the other singles coming up. 
she could be playing Tracy Hallam, could she? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Tracy did very, very well in uh, in Kuching. Absolutely amazing. 20. She did. Yes, nice making point. the finals. She yeah. did. Right. Well, here we go. 2013. This is match point. The final point of the day for us as well. Make it a good rally, girls. Oh, yeah. Deception there. And what a finish. Thank you for that, Jing. Jing Ning. Absolutely beautiful to finish. Thank you, she says to the crowd. There we go. 21-13, 21-13. Disappointment for Mewtwo. So th uh, five in a row now she's lost. Let's have a look at the stats then. The final game of the evening. Look at those smash winners. Unbelievable. She zipped 12-0. Net winners at 5-1. Dominance personified. Can't believe it. Chang Ning, beautiful player. Wonderful number one touch. That is it for tonight. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage. Join us again tomorrow. This is John Burgess with Charmaine Reed saying good night from Madrid.